Well, as we've mentioned before, China's demand for fine art is one of the world's fastest growing. That's why several works are from new homes in the Chinese mainland. Ling Nang has the story. Hand top, hammer down. Christie's artwork was being snatched up by deep-pocketed buyers over the weekend in Shanghai. From paintings and prints to sculptures and installations, the bids kept coming in until sold, the successful auction sign of the emerging Chinese art market. Chinese collectors are getting more diverse, and many young collectors are joining the market. They're usually educated or work in the Western countries, so their views and tastes are very internationalized. And more open. Chinese art market has seen the farthest growth in the world over the past decade. Since its first auction in Chinese mainland in 2013, Christie's has been focusing on the 20th century and contemporary art. I think we've seen a new um, interest and respect for certain Western artists that maybe did not exist before. Um, we've introduced some new artists in our time here, such as Bernard Buffet uh, and André Brazilier, uh, both of whom we've made world records for in 2000 in China. As the Chinese art market has been growing in the past decade, the Chinese collectors are getting more sophisticated. Apart from masters like Picasso and Dali, Christie's is also promoting young Asian artists this time, presenting a comprehensive view of Western and Eastern art. As a foreign auction house, Christie's is barred from trading in the cultural relics in Chinese mainland. However, it's showing old masters' artwork to Chinese clients this time as a preview of the New York auction this June. The more Chinese collectors travel, the more they are aware that these paintings are for sale. And I think a lot of people don't realize that you can buy, you can actually buy something by Michelangelo or Raphael, or in this case, Van Elst. Um, and it, it's not just stuck in a museum, it is on the market. Christie's has held a series of lectures and dialogue in Beijing, Shanghai, and Hangzhou for collectors and artists in an effort to meet the growing appetite for art from the Chinese market. Linan, CCTV, Shanghai.